Hey guys, welcome to Off the Hook with Mark. Tonight I just wanted to tell you a little bit about me. Everybody knows that I don't like to talk about me, but I gotta tell you this little bit of story because we're kinda out of shit to talk about. When Alaska only has three months of fun stuff to put into it, and then you spend the next eight months figuring out how you're gonna sell trips and, and uh, get as many people as you can to Alaska, you run out of stuff to talk about. And I don't want to sell stuff to you guys. I just want to tell you how awesome Alaska is. How amazing this place is. I, I know I grew up in Colorado and it, I, you won't believe how awesome Alaska is. Everywhere you go, there's something that's unbelievable. I grew up in Newcastle, Colorado little bitty town. There were 15 kids in my eighth grade class. There used to be cutthroats in every cr creek. Anywhere you went, you could catch a cutthroat trout. You'd hike into these mountain lakes and just knock the daylights out of these fish. It was so much fun. And then it just got to where it was so crowded around here that, you know, I had this ambition to get into Alaska to where the story is that Alaska is like the place to be if you want to get away from people. So years ago, I took a trip. Wow, the scenery, the mountains, the bears, the eagles, uh, the moose, the caribou, the everywhere we went, there was just so much cool, majestic, like I, when I was a kid here in Newcastle, you know, and I just fell in love with it. So that was probably 10 or 15 years, hell, I don't know, before I ever went up there and, and decided to do this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. I tell you, it hit me so hard that the next 10 years I did nothing but think about it. With my construction company, we decided to go up there. I think we went up there in 07, 08, I don't know when it was, and just because I just couldn't get Alaska out of my system. So I decided to go to Alaska and work, and we did a bunch of work up there. It was pretty fun. So then I decided, what the hell? I had a, a good friend. We hunted a lot together, and he had this business up there, and, and I went with him several times, and I just fell in love with it. And one day at hunting camp, he says, hey, I'm getting kind of older and I want to spend some time with my grandson. And I, I said, what the hell? I'll buy it. I probably fished in Alaska maybe 10 years um, and I just couldn't shake it off. I'd get home and I'd be like, whew, I got to get back. Somehow, some way, I'm going to end up in Alaska. One day, I had somebody offer me to, to buy out my construction company and, and it just was uh, kind of like, oh, maybe this is it. So my son and I, we went to Alaska looking at lodges and found this lodge, Angler's Lodge, and just fell in love with it. And my wife, we've been married for 34 years, understands where my brain is part of the time. But at that time, it was pretty scary because she knows when I get focused on something, there's no turning back. I finally did enough talking to get her convinced this is what we need to do. And it just worked out perfect with selling my construction company and it just all came together for me, I don't know. So once Julie got into it and started to think what a fun thing this would be, we decided let's just do it. And I went up there and I bought a couple of lodges, six boats in the ocean and did something that I'd been wanting to do my whole life. and. Now I, I love it. One day out on the boat, going along the, the mountains, and the bears on the beach, and the bald eagles. It, it, I mean, it's breathtaking. There's no other place anywhere that compares to this. Going from a 50-year-old person to from concrete, pouring concrete every day, to going up and having to you know, make everybody happy all the time. That was a tough change. We went to Alaska. We sit around the campfire now and tell stories about where everybody's from and been. It's like the coolest thing ever. It truly was. It almost brings tears to my eyes just to think about the fact that people, when they leave, they're like, I cannot believe that vacation I had. You spend so much of your life trying to make that 
almighty buck. And to have something when you retire, it's not necessarily always works out to be what you want to do in life. Now I feel like I'm doing something that I really wanted to do. So every night that I go home while I'm in Alaska, I'm, I'm content. This is like the perfect situation for me. It's so fulfilling and so incredible. I don't know, it's just amazing. If you're ever thinking about going to Alaska, <laughs> you might ought to. Thinking about giving us a call at 800-548-3474 and press whatever number you want. One, two, or three. Catherine, Lori, or me. Last week, we asked everybody to leave a comment if they wanted a question answered. I think we got two, but I'm only going to talk about one. And the one was if we do fish only stuff and absolutely we do fish only Dangerous. stuff we do a variety of stuff we fish the rivers we fish the kasilov the kenai we fish uh seward alaska in the ocean we fish homer alaska um, we do these awesome fly out trips that i don't i don't think i've had one person ever come back and say they didn't just like that was the most amazing trip they ever had if anybody wants to ask another question you can make it as tough as you want i would love to try to figure out how to answer that question if i don't know and so comment below don't forget to go to our apparel site alaskafishingapparel.com alaskan alaskanfishingapparel.com don't forget to go there because we got cool shit. We got cool shit. And we're trying to upgrade our shit all the time.